Cette uh, conférence va maintenant être enregistrée. Thank you, Bernard. So, so uh, welcome to, to everybody to the webinar. Today we are going to present the city information platform and information services. We are a, a team of, uh, of five people. There will be Stéphane from Nice who will present the platform. Uh, the, uh, and Alain Chateau uh, for the, 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 the answering and the, the questioning on the on the on the platform. Um, there will be Patrick uh, from CSTB and I, and also Honora from Imhad. So um, the agenda of the presentation. So I will do a short presentation introduction of the project, what we have done here in the project in this. So Stefan will present the CIP and the implementation for the, of the data management. There will be a presentation of three types of scenarios uh, for maintenance energy and environmental risk management by Honora, uh, especially in, at the level of the building in Imarade and at the city level for mainly for the environmental risk management uh, in Nice. And then there we present uh, a short introduction on BIM and building information modeling and city information modeling hypervision. Uh, then we will present the demonstration of the um, of the solution and the application that we have done based on the BIM and SIM. Uh, then I will present the how it can be replicated to uh, other cities. And then we will have questions and we will, you have the possibility to ask us and to, to, to make an exchange about your experience if you have or question if you, you have about BIM and SIM. So I'm going to give the floor now to Stéphane, who will present the City Innovation Platform. Stéphane. Hello, everybody. Uh, so the objective of the Work Package 4 is um, the creation of a City Innovation Platform with uh, open and standard-based uh, application program interfaces. Uh, the City Innovation Platform provides uh, useful data and information services to cities and other stakeholders and allows a data market with a new business model. Uh, the City Innovation Platform is based on uh, common architecture and harmonized data models. Uh, sustainable data governance plans uh, ensure the interoperability and replicability of the solutions. On the next uh, slide, uh, you, uh, so for, for Miss Côte d'Azur, uh, now we are hosting an IT platform dedicated to the pooling of digital data produced by its different uh, departments and in the daily management of its territory as well as data produced by stakeholders. Uh, this solution brings together all the data coming from connected objects deployed uh, in the city and the measurement carried out in public space by the various um, local actors, which are the community, uh, who are also companies, laboratories, uh, research organization, and users. This platform makes it possible, uh, makes it possible to collect uh, continuous and contextual data flow and to pool aggregate and analyze the data collected, whatever their number and nature. It's uh, nature, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, architecture is now open, uh, scalable, based on standard interface and standard protocol to guarantee its interoperability with uh, over territorial or business data platforms. 
and allow its regional replication and beyond without the constraint of license and intellectual property rights. In uh, the future, this code azure will set up data governance in order to define the principle of data management and uh, ensure uh, their application. So now uh, on the next slide, you will see uh, how this uh, CIP platform is uh, used uh, to, to build a demonstrator uh, using uh, BIM and uh, SIM information. Thank you, Stéphane. So, my name, yeah. My name is Ono Rakinar. I work at IMRED as an energy system engineer and I especially supervise the integration of the different uh, renewable energy sources and the associated storages on uh, our new building. So first of all, I would like to say welcome in East to you all, uh, even if you are in front of your computer. Um, I would like to, um, to say that uh, the demonstrator you are going to discover today is located in the Nice Eco Valley district. Uh, going from uh, the airport uh, to the new stadium and uh, nearby the river, the VAR. And I would like to remember uh, the main goal uh, of the IRIS project is to drive this district into a positive energy district that contributes to the welfare of citizens by integrating um, renewable and smart uh, energy solutions. Um, with uh, um, information, uh, let's say information services, thanks to the CIP operated by the Metropole Nice Côte d'Azur, as explained uh, Stefan earlier. Um, we have two special buildings in our IRIS project that are um, more precisely located in uh, the Nice Meridia area. Uh, the first building is the Palazzo Meridia that hosts uh, more uh, businesses and offices. And the second one is the Imred building that have more an uh, educational use. Um, next slide, please. So for this demonstrator, um, let's go back to the Imred building. Uh, this is a positive energy building, meaning that it, it's going to produce more electricity than its own consumption over the year. Um, we are going uh, to experiment through the IRIS project, um, different scenarios like the maximization of the self-consumption, uh, flexibilities activated by an aggregator, uh, all of that with the PV electricity we produce on the roof of the building. So just a few words to be a little bit corporate. Um, our main activities at IMRED uh, are innovation and partnership. Um, in fact, we do the gap between research laboratories and uh, the economic world and we are a part of uh, an entity of the University Côte d'Azur. Um, so let's go back to the building. Uh, we have a lot of technical equipments going from the production to the storage of the electricity. So I already spoke about uh, the PV panels on the roof of the building, but we have also a little wind turbine. Uh, for the storage, we have a first life lithium ion battery. A uh, second life lithium ion battery, a flywheel, but also 19 electric vehicle charging stations. And more recently, we get a vehicle to grid prototype from Renault. Uh, we know that uh, in Utrecht, uh, they have the same prototype uh, within the IRIS project. So, um, uh, the BIM SIM demonstrator you are going to, to see. Uh, uses uh, real-time data from the aforementioned equipments and from the surrounding of the building, uh, like environmental data. Next slide, please. So we are developing uh, an application for city managers 
uh, especially for uh, the maintenance department or the environmental risk management department. We use uh, dashboards that aggregate real-time data um, based on three uh, different scales, uh, the equipment scale, the building scale, and the city scale. Here you have uh, the first example of the dashboard um, with a sample of the equipments we have in the building. Um, let's say the battery here, uh, the charging station, the photovoltaic uh, panels, and the main counter of uh, the building. Uh, we get uh, different values like the active power, the current, the state of charge uh, of the battery. Next slide, please. Uh, here is uh, a dashboard more dedicated to the maintenance department where we still have the same uh, equipments, um, but here we have indicators that uh, illustrate uh, the state or the well-being of the different equipments, like for the batteries, the state of health, uh, for the PV panels, the temperature. Um, why the temperature, for example? Because if you have a high temperature, you are going to decrease the efficiency of your uh, production, so it could be interesting to visualize this kind of information. Uh, next slide. Here we have um, the dashboard related to the building, so um, uh, it could be used by the maintenance department uh, to check the performance of the building itself according to the scenario. Um, here um, we have uh, the scenario uh, that is related to maximization of the self-consumption. So we check the indicator uh, self-production rate, self-consumption rate. And at the bottom of the picture, we have a part more dedicated to the citizen engagement. Um, you have the French energy mix and the IMRED energy mix. Uh, since we are going to consume on-site uh, all our PV production, or most of our PV production, uh, the, the energy mix of IMRED is going to be different than the French one. And why can we speak about uh, citizen engagement? In fact, we have at IMRED um, the so-called Smart City Innovation Center, that is a huge showroom with uh, big screens uh, that going uh, to display um, different uh, subjects, uh, data related to different subjects like uh, the energy, the mobility, the environment, the resiliency. And you have to know that um, every year we have approximately 200 international delegations that come to visit our site, but also uh, students, researchers, uh, professors and uh, citizens. So we hope uh, this uh, demonstrator could highlight uh, the work we do in the IRIS project and that could bring uh, people to adopt the, so the smart solutions we propose uh, in the IRIS project. And next slide, please. Um, last but not least, the environmental risk management uh, dashboard. Um, you have to know that we are in a floating area, so you can imagine that uh, it's really important for us to know the level of the river going nearby our building. Uh, this is uh, the information you get, you get on this dashboard, but we could have also uh, the weather forecast, the weather observation, uh, the air quality observation, the noise level observation. And finally, we could imagine to cross information from, uh, for example, uh, the maintenance dashboard, where you get uh, the number of uh, vehicles or electric vehicles you have in your parking lot. And in our case, it's an underground parking lot. And when you see this dashboard with a floating alert, maybe you would like to get off uh, your car from the car park. Um, it's up to you. Um, next slide, please. 
And uh, we have uh, also possible additional environment risk management scenario. We are thinking about that with our IRIS partner uh, from Atmosud. Uh, it's about uh, peak pollution alert, uh, where we could get uh, in real time uh, the number of cars on the road, uh, their speed, uh, the traffic jam, um, the air pollution, uh, etc., in order to build this kind of uh, alert. But we could also imagine um, uh, a scenario based uh, on the energy where you get weather data, weather forecast, in order to optimize and manage uh, the energy in your building. So the possibilities are, in fact, uh, infinite. But I'm going to let uh, Alain and Patrick uh, present uh, the demonstrator itself. OK, thank you, Honora. So um, we are going to present the, 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 the demonstrator. So uh, you need to know that um, the different concepts that they will be in the demonstrator and we will see uh, a 3D display, but also we will see that the, 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 the huge potential of using a data model, uh, especially data model coming from a city, from buildings, and also for equi from equipment, from data, the data model of equipment. So the, the demonstrator, which we have called uh, an hypervisor, it's uh, a merging of uh, a collection of real-time data provided by uh, any connected device and sensors in building or in the city, and that they are collected by the, the fireware platform of NICE. There are also data coming from the city uh, geometric representation and data model of the city, city information modeling. And there are data coming from the building uh, representation, the building information model. And all these data um, provide uh, uh, what we call a link data model, which can provide a huge quantity of services since we are going to uh, uh, make cross-reference between the different data provided by the different data model that I, I explained uh, just, just before. So it provides uh, um, a quantity of services that we can't uh, describe there. So we decide to present uh, three, three, three types of scenarios, one for the environmental risk management, one for the energy monitoring, which can be at building level, but also at district level, and one for the, the maintenance of equipment, which is more cons dedicated to the building uh, maintenance. Uh, one concept is very really important. It's in Iris, we have used, of course, uh, open and standard model and international model, uh, which are model of reference in the modeling of buildings and the city. So we provide a solution which is compliant with IFC uh, model for the for the building uh, modeling and with CTGML uh, for the city uh, data model. And of course, for the uh, data coming from sensors, we use a, a fireware uh, platform, with, which is an IoT platform. Uh, so we, we are mixing the different data model, but they are open and standard data model. So what we do there, we are going to correlate and to associate a model of information coming from the different uh, geospatial and ge uh, geometric description and an information data model from city and, and building with a data model coming from the equipment and sensors that are provided by the the IoT platform firewall. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to present uh, rapidly the the IMRED, the beam of IMRED. So we we have used to for the demonstration we use uh, 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 an IFC viewer developed by CSTV, which is a free uh, viewer uh, everybody can use. Uh, these tools permit to navigate in the mockup and to see the 3D models, but also the property of building equipment. So I'm going to show you the, the beam that has been implemented for uh, IMRED. So this is uh, the, uh, the beam of IMRED. You see the different level of the building. Uh, you see the, you can see also the equipment. For example, here I select the PV, the PV of the, which uh, are located on the roof of the, of the building. You have details, uh, you can find details on the PV. You will have the model, you have the dimension, you have the number of panels that are, uh, that are used um, uh, uh, in, 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 the, in, in the building. So you have the, the, the also the property, of course, the energy properties of the, of the uh, solar panels. So you have a detailed information on the different uh, parts and equipment of the building. You can select the different level of the building that you want to, uh, to uh, uh, details. For example, I select uh, here, uh the 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 level one so it's real it's a really interesting tool to navigate in the mockup and to see how the conception is realized but also how you will explore further the building and to see uh, uh the um the different parts of the building and the different surfaces. So you have many details, in fact, on the building, thanks to uh, these tools. And uh, and uh, okay. So let's let's go to the next description. So we we have done this. Uh, Based on the, based on the realization of uh, Emirate building, we ask Emirate to provide this uh, this uh, building information model based on EFC. EFC. Uh, so based on that, we use this uh, this uh, building information model of Emirate to uh, provide information of equipment, and the, you will see how we use this information. Uh, to provide services, especially for energy monitoring and maintenance and maintenance. So uh, I go back on the presentation now. Uh, about the technical impl implementation. So the implementation is based uh, on on a, on a, um, on a solution which provide uh, a light uh, a light uh, application. We, you can use a light application client like a browser to 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 navigate uh, both at uh, city level and building level. So we are use a technology which is an open technology called Cesium uh, to uh, to implement the a sort of browser which can navigate inside the the different seam and beam uh, mockup uh, and uh, it's uh, it's based on the use uh, on uh, uh, format which are light lighter than IFC like B, B, B3, uh, B3DM. Uh, so it uh, requests some manipulation I will explain further. 
But the objective of the solution is to have uh, an open solution which can exploit standard model of uh, BIM and SIM and also which can exploit the data model uh, of fireware that are used in the different cities. So the, the implementation is completely open as it is and I will, uh, I will detail further how will do the replication, you can do the replication on your site for the other cities. Uh, so now we are going to make the demonstration for the server which is uh, re uh, implement has been implemented. So uh, uh, so okay. Uh, so we um, uh, so uh, we are going to develop and present the different uh, the three scenarios that uh, that uh, we have implemented we have an environmental risk scenarios first so here we see you see the the mock-up of the, uh, the, the 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 beam of him head uh, based on the on the the ground the ground uh, the ground vi uh, view of of the of the place where is uh, located the the, the Emirate building so uh, for the for the for the mockup at this stage we use uh, uh, the the Google the Google uh, inf information model, but 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 for 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 the building we use the the IFC uh, the IFC provide by uh, by Emirate. So we are going to uh, um, uh, demonstrate the the environmental risk. Uh, it, which is based on the water observation level. So uh, we have a sort of dynamic um, uh, uh, detection of level uh, and uh, there are a, a sort of set of different color. Uh, and uh, when, when, when the, the status of the level is white, that is everything is, 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 uh, is normal. But uh, you can put some uh, thresholds, uh, and uh, just for the demonstration here, you can change the threshold. And then, uh, if you want to uh, to activate a threshold when a level is uh, is uh, is rich, then you can see that when you change the threshold, then the the the, the, the color of the of the style. The status of the of the sensor is going to change, and will indicate by a red by red color that there is a, a level of risk which is very important for for the water level of the river. So th this is a sort of application. It's a demonstration that shows how we can implement uh, uh, easy detection and fast detection of water level. For example, a risk environmental. Of course, there are there are over environmental risk that can be monitored. Uh, we have another risk based on the weather forecast, for example. Uh, so just to remind you that it's a, a, a light application, that it's a, it's a way to use the beam and sim for everybody who can connect to the server with a browser, so it's a way to open the, 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 this technology and these, uh, these tools to uh, 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 many people who can connect to a server uh, without having a standalone and heavy application on their computer. So here the, we, we go on the, on the weather forecast based in, in the city, in, 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 um, in the surrounding of Nice. Uh, and uh, we have details of information uh, and we can detect, for example, the wind detection, the wind speed uh, in order to, um, to uh, send an alert. If, for example, the same uh, principles having threshold on some parameters on the forecast can uh, uh, be very reactive on uh, an evolution of the of the of the weather, for example, 
and be uh, almost in real time take decision on what is happening and what can be done for population surrounding uh, surrounding the, the, the sensor. Okay, uh, then uh, we go at the uh, we we'll say the building and district cell uh, scale. So we go back to uh, the uh, the building of Imred. And we uh, we have there uh, information on the on the energy. Uh, so as uh, presented by uh, Onoha, uh, we have the dashboard uh, presenting the the, uh, the the energy and the energy mix uh, and compare the French energy mix with the Imred energy mix. Uh, we have a, a, a follow-up of energy, uh, um, uh, a follow-up of energy uh, or consumption, uh, especially uh, with the Linky, which is uh, a smart, um, a smart metering, uh, a French smart metering, which can provide the consumption of the building uh, real time uh, and also uh, by historic we can get also the values, okay? And then we have uh, uh, scenarios presenting the, the, also the details on the, the, the different uh, consumption of over uh, uh, electric equipment of the building. Uh, these data are the data co uh, that are collected on the fireware platform that are also uh, collected in real time. And then we have uh, another scenario, which is more a scenario of maintenance. Uh, maintenance scenario, for example, is uh, based on the, um, the status of equipment. And based on the status, we have a status presenting if they are working or not working. But here, of course, and it's very nice, they are working. So we don't have, um, uh, uh, we don't have to, to, to ask the maintenance to, 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 to repair or to go to on the site for, to, to, um, to, uh, to check the, the, if there is a problem. So in that case, everything is okay. So there are no, uh, a re reason to, to, to make an intervention. But we can make there, uh, thanks to these scenarios, we can also program some intervention and things like this. So there, there are a lot of capability of maintenance and it's still a real-time maintenance scenario. So, okay. So uh, I'm coming back to, uh, to the presentation now. Okay, uh, so it was to explain uh, the different status. So we have used a sort of a color um, a color definition of the different status. White is normal, yellow is, we don't collect data. So we can access to the fireware platform for a technical reason. That means the sensor is not giving the good information. Uh, red is we have detected uh, an anomaly, so there is a problem in the in the surveillance, or in, uh, especially if we have a risk environment, environmental risk management. And blue is when we have uh, an action of maintenance, which is requested. Then we go on the replication. So uh, at present time, the the the, the demonstrator can uh, use uh, is mainly working with buildings uh, models so BIM, and IFC. So from IFC uh, provide by uh, geographic information and real estate departments of the city, we can um, uh, after a transformation of IFC in a model which is uh, 
uh, make light of the, 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 the data model Anna? for the US. We don't see your screen, Anna. Oh. It's okay. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, the replication for diversity is possible. Uh, if you if you are in cap capacity to uh, receive and to to get the 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 building information model in IFC, we can provide um, um, an application to transform the IFC in a model which is lighter than IFC, which is used by uh, our uh, hypervisor, uh, as I told. Cesium hypervisor. There are different level of detail details which can be uh, uh, um, uh, provided by by the, by the application. We need to be provided by the application uh, in order to make lighter the the the, the, the files and to have a. a, 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 a a nice vision and and and, uh, and uh, free vision uh, of of the of the of the of the the city and the buildings. So the different model of B3DM are used by uh, the hypervisor that we provide. At the present time, the implementation is based on Google Earth Engine. We would like. Well, we would like we would have like to uh, implement CTGML for city, but it requires more time and more time of implementation and more cost for the moment. We decide not to do that. And uh, so the application that we provide, if you respect this uh, this type of uh, format, uh, you can easily use the the application that we have developed. Which are of course demonstrator scenarios, uh, and if you respect the data model of the fireware platform in, uh, that we that normally you should, uh, you you have the capability to uh, use this um, uh, this uh, uh, demonstrator also uh, for you for your city. So the the. If you respect the standards, it's the, 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 the software we have developed is uh, can be used uh, also on your side. So I, I think that it's uh, we have finished the presentation. Uh, if you have a question, uh, you're, you're welcome. So here I present uh, the uh, sorry. Here I present uh, the, 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 the real uh, implementation that we would like to have. Uh, it's the ideal presentation. It could be to exploit uh, directly uh, IFC and CTGML formats provided uh, by the, the departments of uh, buildings and the real estate of, of the city. Uh, and we could provide an API to uh, to to check and to convert automatically uh, the B3DM format, but uh, at present time it's not uh, it's not planned. Uh, but it should be an interesting way to uh, duplicate uh, easily and on the standard way the the the, the solution. But at the moment it's not uh, realized. So. Uh, thank you. Uh, now we are open to any question or also suggestion, maybe or experience that you have also on your side uh, on such uh, uh, on such uh, technology uh, of uh, of uh, of display visualization at city and building level. 
so uh, it's Alain Chateau speaking. Uh, we we got uh, three three questions in the chat room. So I don't know, Alain, uh, Honora, and Patrick, I mean, and Stefan, if you want, I, I may maybe initiate them in this uh, Q and A and by uh, asking the these questions from the chat, and then of course it could be more interactive with the participants. Okay. So, can you, can so maybe uh, the first question. So, so yes, hi, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's Stefan. Perhaps I, I can uh, respond for the first question. Uh, for for me, uh, the first question is for water level monitoring. How is the water level measured? Uh, so uh, we use the sensors. Uh, two kinds of sensors. Uh, uh, one is uh, into the, the river, and uh, is uh, it's. I think it's uh, an electromagnetic uh, to to detect the, the the level of the water. But I'm not expert uh, uh, about the sensor. Uh, but uh, it's it's a sensor into the river, and uh, we have a second. Um, Kind of sensor we use a camera uh, to detect uh, the level of the water with an algorithm so it's a second way to to measure the level of the water can answer to the and then question. we have this uh, from more with the second question yes exactly so it, with the second yes. question, you, what was the implementation time? Or... So, 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 so for the second question, so, yes, for the so, second question, I can also try to respond. We, we work with a, a company, a French company, and uh, they, they use uh, the level of the water and they use uh, the information of the uh, weather uh, observation and weather forecast uh, to predict uh, the water uh, level, uh, to predict the water level. Uh, so um, uh, you, you, I can give you, uh, perhaps uh, if somebody is interested, I can give you the contact of this company and you, you could talk with them to 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 know uh, how uh, uh, they uh, what what is the algorithm they, they use. Mm. I don't know uh, if uh, you need more information. I, I can answer to on my on my side uh, about the the citizen uh, to be engaged on the online platform. Uh, when we have developed this uh, this demonstrator, we we were not uh, completely uh, uh, focusing the 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 city the citizen. In fact, we were more uh, focusing on the the people involved in the in the city management uh, and, for example, maintenance, etc. Uh, however, that uh, we uh, we are not thinking that this demonstrator, uh, even if we are not thinking that this at this stage, this demonstrator is not to be used for for citizens. But it's uh, um, the, the the data that is behind there and the, and the different uh, possibility to manage data and to cross the data uh, is give the possibility to develop scenarios for citizens. Uh, more adapt for citizens, uh, maybe uh, with a vision on the, on the the vision of the of the city, uh, uh, the geographic vision of the city is useful. Maybe not, we don't know. Uh, but but, but the, the the capability to exploit uh, these 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 models is 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 there, and then there is uh, it's it's up to to people to think uh, how uh, they can uh, develop services for citizens. I think um, maybe we are not well, uh, uh, well, well uh, um, enough rep representing the citizen for for this uh, 
for this uh, application, but it's, it has to be think on, on how we can explore this data and this model, but the, the, the information is there. Uh, I have also a question of the, the how, how long does it take to implement uh, for its time of the implementation in fact was not so uh, so so long it, in fact the, the only uh, implementation and development of the application based on the technology that we have was not very long because it took uh, less than two months uh, and and but there, there were there we had time to uh, to implement uh, the specification first so it took time to think about the scenarios and this is the most complicated in fact uh, to design the scenarios is the most complicated and to de design the scenario with end users also so uh, wh where it has to be improved is to uh, design uh, business scenarios and end user scenarios citizen scenarios it's it has to be done uh, and the demonstrator is 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 the first stage to show uh, how, how the data can be exploited. But uh, there are uh, another another step, which to, is to work with uh, with uh, professionals uh, and user and also citizens on potential scenarios. Maybe I I have answer to to, to Kim. Uh, Alan, do we have uh, other questions? Well, I think actually, even this, there was what did, yes, I think the, 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 the last question was effectively the, uh, the, the, the link, I mean, for and how citizens, I mean, will take advantage of this, uh, of this uh, CIP. So the way, I mean, this, uh, the information produced uh, by the, uh, the CIP and then the, the, the city model will, uh, can be effectively shared with citizens um, beyond, I mean, the, I would say more uh, public administration uh, officers. Is, uh, it's not, it's not for, how, for my, you see, for, I mean, this, uh, maybe based on all the experience. Yes. yes. For my, for my, uh, my idea is, is not, is not a, a direct use of the data like it is, in fact, because I think that decisions that has to be taken are, are, are not, should not be uh, based on what we are presented individual decision so if we decide to close the road or if we decide to uh, uh, to alert people we need to think on how we are going to give the alerts it can be a a, a row i will say a row a row alert it has to be analyzed and generalize. So, uh, so in any case, these tools are not completely have to be uh, put in the hand as it is now in the end of citizens. If we want to provide services for citizens, we have to implement uh, uh, more uh, uh, analysis uh, which uh, are relevant to uh, the population uh, at, at, at the city level. Okay, uh, so, um, so it requests uh, a work to to implement uh, analysis and to implement a decision a decision to be taken and to uh, to push the, this information at uh, at uh, at individual individual level. So so uh, uh, if the question is it can be exploited as it is today, the demonstrator no. But uh, it requests to, to make more uh, analysis and how it has to be delivered to citizens at individual level.
Any questions from the from the current attendees? Other questions um, based on the presentations or any I would say prospective uh, aspects related I mean to the uh, to this to the seam or the beam aspects. Uh, I, I see a question on the on the on the atmosphere, and uh, we we have answer to this question. Uh, Alain, uh, um, the question: How how the how the role of the sea uh, uh, message? Or, uh, I feel, so, uh, Alain, I can I can answer. Uh, we we are working with Atmosud uh, uh, on this uh, on this demonstrator, and uh, the CIP uh, will be used as uh, the central component to 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 store uh, the information. So we will have uh, all uh, the information produced by Atmosud. Uh, store uh, stored into the CIP and the CIP will be used as uh, you, you 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 saw uh, in this uh, demonstrator. The CIP will be used to 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 to, uh, to get uh, the message from with an application and display the, the message to to a panel or uh, to to a text message. Uh, uh, so so uh, so the CIP will be the central storage component. Mm. Yes. Uh, there are questions about the indices. I mean, uh, it's it's about the energy of the or the threshold. And what is the the best step to implement these indices? So, uh, what are the indices of uh, calculation you you speak about? Do you speak about the the level of water, things like this, or? Ah, ben, il répond. Okay, okay. I don't know if there are other questions. It's Alain Chateau speaking. Maybe what I can what I can add is that uh, and especially based on the of course, existing situation based on this COVID-19, I mean, uh, crisis, I mean, there was a clear understanding at city level that we need more and more, let's say, a real time and interactive way to communicate, I mean, with citizens. And, uh, and uh, we are currently working on several hypervisors. Uh, we talk about uh, risk management, we have uh, mobility and we have uh, security. Um, uh, hyper, hypervision systems, and, and the point is the CIP is really the cornerstone of all these, uh, let's say, supervising or hypervision platforms. And, and the point is really that we we are currently working on on, on uh, building. I mean, uh, um, I would say it's a sort of multi-channel portal for citizens. So based, of course, on the, on the web and on mobile applications, so we have uh, what we call Alomeri. So we have a, an application which was a bit limited in his, with limited, I would say, uh, uh, use, I mean, which, which now is becoming something much more versatile and which will be used, I mean, to communicate much more information, so bidirectional, but of course, a lot of information based on the uh, city applications and services operated uh, from the, I would say, relying on the, on the CIP. So I would say it's really a work in progress currently. I mean, uh, to 
to really reshape, I mean, the way we are communicating with citizens. And uh, definitely, I mean, it is something which is going to to, to take much more importance uh, in the, we, we, you know, maybe that we have a new mandate. I mean, the, the new mayor has been elected, I mean, uh, um, two weeks ago. And uh, it's the new mayor, it's still, I mean, Christian Stosi was re-elected, by the way, uh, for its, uh, his third mandate. And um, it's definitely a top priority right now, I mean, to to really build, I mean, this uh, real-time, I mean, communication with citizens. And, and the CIP is, is, I think, is definitely becoming, I mean, the, uh, an instrumental component of this uh, communication channel. So this is why also it's important, I mean, and it was mentioned by Atmos Sud, um, because this is part of this, by the way, transition transition track five, so citizen engagement of this uh, Iris project. And, and uh, this transition track five is one, let's say, is, is, uh, is one way, I mean, to really uh, experiment, I mean, uh, new ways of communication using new medias, and not only, of course, I mean, mobile applications, but also, for instance, uh, uh, city uh, advertising panels, uh, screens uh, within the tramways, and so on. So, so we are really investigating a lot of different channels, but obviously, I mean, this is only making sense if the information is reliable, and more and more is real time, and this is why this, uh, I think, what has been presented is uh, is essential. I mean, in this uh, in this mm -hmm. uh, in this process. Okay. Yes, uh, I would like to add something because I want to insist that we are, we have present something which is already uh, based on visualization. So the tool is based on visualization, but it's a very small part of what is providing the tool. In fact, because in, in fact, you need to understand that we well, we are working with three uh, three model of information. We are working on the model of information of equipment, thanks to the SIP, uh, which which is a platform collecting data from any kind of sensors and and, and, and other sources. We we are, we are data and model of information and a sort of model of information from building, which is also description of how is implemented the building, what we can find inside the building, what type of building, what size of building, what surface we have. So it's a huge quantity of information collected, and we also have another. Uh, level of information with the city and provide by the by the the city information model so we have also information on the city on the network on different things so based on that we have a quantity of information which is very important and gives giving the capability to analyze this information and to detect things and to make things and it's very open. So the quantity of services and who is going to be uh, um, and the user of the data is 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 infinite, in fact, because there are, there are many types of services that can be implemented because we have a lot of information. We can compare things. We can uh, uh, the, uh, the, um, analyze the, 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 the energy that is used by uh, square meters. We, uh, we can do many things that can be used for maintenance, for risk management. Um, and it's not only visual, as I, I want to insist on that, that the, the potential is not the visual, but it's more on the data that can be uh, compared and analyzed and cross analyze. So uh, the, 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 the advantage of such platform uh, is the service and the data analysis they can provide. And of course, as I say, as told uh, uh, Alain, for example, Allomery, which today is a service which is used uh, with, a, I would say, a simple level of information uh, is not as efficient as it could be if he will use he would use 
uh, and and uh, the, the the data provided by the model that we have on the city and the building. If we had this implement, and if we have the capability to uh, 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 analyze the real time data on a real -time event coming from an equipment with the detail of where is the equipment, what is doing the equipment, etc. Uh, we will have a, a, a more um, um, useful and more, more um, I would say, uh, automatic uh, and efficient tools uh, to uh, to manage the the maintenance uh, that is provided by the service along every along along every. So, so uh, just to remember that it's not only visual; it's a data model. Which is very important and choose that is provided by, by such approach site. Okay, I, I think that we, if we don't have any question, or you, you are open to ask question because we, you, you have our contacts. So anytime and we will answer. Um, and uh, if uh, you don't have any more questions, I think uh, I would say I would like to, to finish the, the webinar and to ask you if, uh, to tell you thank you to attend and uh, and uh, to not hesitate to ask or to contact us if you have questions or additional things that you you've seen. Thank you very much to everybody to attend. Uh, Thank you, Alan. Later. Uh, Thank the you. webinar uh, and the presentation will be available on the IRIS website. Yes.